I hate you and everything you stand for. You're a coward, and no one will remember you when you die. No, no, it's not possible. No. Okay. Oh. So, my line is... Heartbreaking missiles. I know what it is. My line is activate heartbreaking missiles. Uh-huh. Okay, you know you can write this stuff, but you sure can't say it. Hey. Hello? What are you doing here? This is a closed set. It's fine. It's just my brother and his friends. What's up? Hey, Kate. Hey, Emily. Oh, uh, hey, Ryan. Oh, um, uh, is Reese here? We need to talk to him. Don't break. Uh, the, the pinata was busted before I got there, I swear. What? Were you in the Eagly costume the day it disappeared? Well, no. Uh, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? I mean, I was scheduled to work that day, yeah. But when Johnny gave me a note saying that he would wear Eagly that day and not to worry about it, I went somewhere else. Johnny? As in Johnny Grape? Where'd you go? Uh, do I have to answer that? Legally, you don't. How do I even know a person made Eagly disappear anyway? What if it was real magic? Uh, guys, I think I found Eagly. Students of California Honor, I captured your king, your god. Oh my god, this is sick. But soon you will discover even gods die. And I bet you dollars to donuts, that is the student broadcasting room. So this is live, come on. You guys take the elevator, I'm way faster on foot anyways. Breaking and entering, lying to representative student organizations, going through other students' belongings. I don't know where to begin. This investigation was not approved by the school newspaper. Students are not allowed to report on the conduct proceedings of other students. What about student broadcasting? They do it all the time. Student broadcasting is essentially a social club. But the newspaper? I thought better of you, Skylar. I thought better of all of you. Blake, Johnny, do you want to ruin your campaigns? Johnny, did you steal Eagly? I bet you dollars to donuts that your father wouldn't be very excited to hear about this. And Blake and Raymond, I don't know what you did, but I know you're complicit in this whole affair. Hello, Raymond, since you've been found innocent by the school administration, I'll let you go with a warning. Thank you, doctor. I'll need a few hours to determine the rest of your punishments. Now get out of my office. What about Johnny? I mean, you're gonna let a terrorist run for student council president? First of all, this is, none of this is terrorism. It's a school mascot, not war crimes. And we'll discuss this at a later date. Now get out, I've got divorce proceedings in an hour. I cannot believe that. I know all this work and it doesn't even get to see the light of day. Hey! Where are you going? I'm going home. Don't you think you owe Raymond here a little apology after everything you put him through? I didn't put you through anything. You all did this to yourselves. Thanks, Mr. President. <sighs> we were never going to change the school mascot to a hummingbird. That's so dumb. Your plan failed, you terrorist. Bye, guys. 
See you tomorrow. That's it? You don't want to see him brought to justice? I don't care about justice. I never cared about justice. All I cared about was clearing my name, formally, and I did, so I'm happy. Thank you, but I got everything I wanted. Wow, thanks, Raymond. Glad everything worked out for you. My campaign promise to bring Eagerly back to the students of California High. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Let's do it! And about that Johnny Grape, his reign of terror will not last much longer. See, he is the son of a senator. He's not like us. Mike. Raymond, come on in. I'm watching Minions on Ice. 